The Legal Docs by Me Sports Desk. Here's Julie Bueller. Todd Marinovich is one of the biggest names in sports history, but not for the reasons you'd think. His dad put a football in his crib and set him on a rigorous path to becoming an NFL quarterback. Well, after a remarkable high school and college career, in 1991, the Raiders drafted him, and in the first round. But his NFL career lasted only three years, and decades of addiction and tragedy followed. He's now living in the desert, teaming up with a local nonprofit to help young athletes here in the desert. This is part one of my two-part sit-down with Marinovich. I was such a young man at the time. I didn't have the tools to deal with the high expectations, the pressure, the, uh, that go along with being a professional athlete in, in a big city like Los Angeles. So um, I didn't handle it too well, um, as my record shows. When he was four years old, Marinovich ran four miles in 32 minutes along the beach shoreline with his father. His father, Marv, one of the NFL's first ever strength and conditioning coaches, trained his only son as a professional athlete from infancy. His idea? Sculpt an NFL quarterback with rigorous training, precise dieting, and relentless discipline. Well, it worked. The Raiders drafted Marinovich in the first round in 1991. But internally, the young man was crumbling. It's really a gift that um, I'm still here. I feel really fortunate and grateful that I'm still breathing because, in a way, I did everything in my power not to be here. You know, addiction's a slow suicide. After a record-setting high school career and during his time in college as a highly anticipated USC Trojan and then into his professional career and beyond, Marinovich struggled with addiction. First it was cocaine, marijuana, and then heroin and more. For some two decades, he was in and out of jail or rehab. Yet, when on the football field, his talent was undeniable, however tragically displayed. After a failed return to the NFL, Marinovich landed in the Arena Football League, where he threw a record 10 touchdowns in a single game, despite suffering from, quote, acute heroin withdrawal. What I do know is that life is about the experience, and it's hard to, uh, it's hard to reach any um, young man with, uh, with a big ego. I got to live a lot in the short amount of time I've been on the planet, and what I'm trying to do today, to be honest, Julie, I've been a taker my whole life, and I get to give back and it's a really powerful story he'll be giving back with the SoCal Coyotes our own local AAA minor league football team now tomorrow in part two we'll hear about how he'll be helping them and how art has helped him through this recovery process well, I'll tell you when he put on that number 12 with the silver and black it was like Stabler all over again we just knew this was going to be great what a quarterback that yeah. kid was all right thank you